I think, I think it's essential for children to be reflected in what they're reading. Just like our society now is it more aware than ever of diversity. We need to see other people who are like us. Um, where it's a difficult time, a lot of pressure, social media pressure. We need to take that pressure off the anxiety, as was said tonight, about being a child and find a, a good way to reflect childhood in a, a funny, empowered, okay, no more loneliness kind of way. Well, I do, but obviously not in a self-conscious um, way. But I do think children, maybe all of us, like to identify at the very least with one of the characters. And if they're always of a certain class or a certain colour, and it never really refers to them, I think it can be alienating, except for fantasy, um, crime fiction or something like that. And certainly in my experience with children, they have liked seeing children that reflect their own, either their background or their ethnicity. So yeah, I do think it's important. Oh, because I think literature gives children access to other worlds and gives them the whole... I think children are hugely imaginative. They, they long to experience other lives and literature is a really safe way of doing it. And, you know, the old thing about fairy stories being telling children, ex explaining to children and showing children how dangerous life is, they know it's dangerous. And to actually see Cinderella being so maltreated or, you know, um, somebody cast out into the snow, but then they're safely rescued. That's such a good psychological lesson for a child. Um, so children, reading is just everything, I think. Young people should write. Young people should do podcasts. I know that's easier said. Come to Quorum. Get, get you know, inspire other people to invest. It doesn't cost that much. Um, should express themselves in a group, not just as individuals. Power of community, power of not being alone, power of finding a voice, other people's voices. I think they should, they should share it. I think they should write. Um, they should talk. They should be very open about it. And I think the main thing is to understand that people are really interested in stories and that everybody is interested in the detail about people's stories and that detail is what's important. So the connection that you make with your reader is all to do with details that you share in, public, in common. I wrote the book about the history of foundlings but I added a modern element which I thought was necessary and I discovered again nobody had really in this country looked for grown-ups who had that foundling background. They would have been um, photographed by newspapers and then they would be put up for adoption and that was that. And so I chased down as many as I could find in the time I had and the stories they told me were just eye-popping, extraordinary tales. The problems might have changed nowadays and be more about domestic neglect and homelessness, but in, in, in essence, the problem of children remains exactly the same. And children and the world of the imagination is as important as it ever was. I've spent this evening in a fantastic event. Um, we've had Kate A.D. and a number of accomplished authors talk to us about women, children, literature. And, and, and I think really the thing for me that came through tonight was how do we pull together as a society to keep the benefits that literature has brought us, to use that to empower our children, to bring happiness. Mental health came out as a real theme in that. And I think it's interesting for me that we find ourselves in an unprecedented level of um, bad mental health, um, whilst probably having one of the easiest, as um, some of the previous generations might say, um, societies to live in. Um, it's fantastic to be able to work with Quorum, and I'm very grateful for what I get to do with them on a, on a, on a daily basis.